Hello everyone, welcome back to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at information gathering or reconnaissance. Uh, we're also going to take a look at passive and active information gathering, but the main focus is to introduce you to information gathering, and then we'll take a look at the various tools and techniques that we'll be using in passive information gathering. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, what is information gathering or reconnaissance? Right, so information gathering or footprinting as it's are also known as in certain cases, and I'll, I'll demystify that later. But it is, a, it is the first stage in a penetration test, and it is the process of gathering as much information about the target and its information systems and architecture as possible. Right? So this information is very important because it's then used to find various ways to gain access to the organization's network or infrastructure. So the reason, uh, you know, information gathering is the first step in a pen test is because it gives you an overview of the organization's information systems, the structure, uh, what assets the company has, what servers they have. And then this gives the penetration tester a clear view of why, where the weaknesses lie insofar as, uh, you know, the vulnerabilities that exist what areas might be the most susceptible to weakness and it allows the penetration tester to fine tune the pen test and that's why this is one of the most important phases in penetration testing. Now there are two types of information gathering that really entail two types of data or two different types of uh, actually interacting with your target or your client, right? So let's start off with understanding passive uh, information gathering or reconnaissance. So passive information gathering is the process of gathering information about a target without making any direct contact with the target's digital infrastructure or really not engaging with the target actively. So passive information, uh, passive information gathering relies on uh, OSINT or open source intelligence or publicly available information to map out, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the organization's in, uh, uh, to map out the organization's information uh, systems, their structure, etc. Right? We then have active information gathering. So this is the process of gathering information about a target through direct interaction. So this process involves directly interacting with the target's IT infrastructure or you know the the employees uh, whether you're performing uh, you know social engineering. So you're actually probing the servers. You might be trying to scan for open ports on the servers, stuff like that. However, with passive, you're dealing with information that's already in the public domain and really you're not targeting or you're not actively engaging with the target yet. All right. So let's talk about the objectives of information gathering because this is very, very important. So the main objective of information gathering is to build a blueprint of the target's organizational structure, network information, and host information. All right, so as I said, this information becomes very useful because it allows you to orchestrate the next steps of the pen test very well. Uh, so again, uh, if you perform very good information gathering or very comprehensive information gathering on your target or the target network, you get an idea or a good understanding of, of the structure and where you should start off with first, right? So you're typically, uh, you're typically targeting the low hanging fruit first. Um, secondly, it also helps the penetration test to understand the overall security posture of the target network or infrastructure. So again, this will entail where the flaws or vulnerabilities exist so that he or she can focus on the low hanging fruit. That comes to the first objective here. So again, it's very important that the penetration tester understands the entire scope of the organizational, uh, of the organizational structure, the network information, information about the various hosts. Uh, and you know, this, this information goes quite in depth, as I just say, uh, as I just point out right over here. So when we take a look at the types of information that we'll be gathering, Let's start off with network and host based information. So the information you're typically looking for are network ranges used by the company, uh, IP blocks, DNS names, uh, top level domains, subdomains, name servers, mail servers, and uh, the, the software that they're using either on the website or the client uh, or employee uh, software packages, uh, you know, that they use on their desktop computers. This can help you, you know, uh, you know, orchestrate social engineering attacks. Uh, if you're targeting their web servers or their, of their mail servers, then again, that information becomes very useful. Secondly, uh, you're, you're typically targeting or looking for employee information. And this, uh, of course, is very useful in 
uh, performing social engineering. So you're looking for their name, email, phone number, identity information, their role within the company, whether or not they have access to critical information and their various interests. And then through that, you can start building a, uh, you know, a spear phishing. Um, you can you can set up a spear phishing campaign or you can work around or set up a social engineering campaign as a whole. All right, so let's talk about the various passive information gathering or OSINT uh, methodologies, techniques and tools and the one that I've set up.